Why do people gravitate toward you? Um, it's kind of it's kind of crazy you ask that for real because motherfuckers tend to gravitate toward me, but I don't even like people. So it's just kind of like, I guess, like ironic. I guess um, I'm laid back. I'm trustworthy. Um, easy to talk to. Some may find me humorous or whatever. So I don't know. My fuckers just be wanting to kick it, but I don't even like kicking it for real. Why don't you like people? Um, I don't know. I think it might it might be because of me being a product of my environment for real. Growing up in Chicago, you know what I'm saying? You don't, you're not raised to be friendly. You know what I'm saying? I'm sad and everybody, I don't know what's to them. Woo woo. Like, you motherfuckers, motherfuckers might be trying to get over on you. don't know what's to them. So it's just like, don't talk to me. If I don't know you, don't talk to me. So it just kind of, yeah, spill over into my adulthood, I guess. Are you antisocial? Very. And were you like this from the very beginning? Or you grew into being antisocial. You grew into not liking people. Um, I kind of grew into it for I think elementary school, high school, probably like my junior senior year in high school. I started kind of getting into that. Once I went to college, then as life went on, it just got worse. I think. Um, yeah, even experiencing like after high school. Motherfuckers wanting to kick it that didn't fuck with me in high school. It's just like, the fuck is you doing type shit. So it's just like, I wasn't even on no friendly shit then. So, yeah, type shit. Now, how far did you get with your education? Um, two years of college. Um, I had switched my major after my second year to information technology with these little online classes. And I was doing fairly well. But um, then the videos started taking off. I started doing the videos. In 2016, I dropped the first Black Chicago Be Like. That motherfucker went up. I had to put that shit on hold. And I've been shit working that ever since. And for time reference, it's July 2021 now. Oh, God. Now, which schools did you attend growing up? Um, out West, um, elementary schools. I went to Spencer. Um for eighth grade, I went to Prairie Hills. My mama had got a job, we moved us to the suburbs. My freshman and sophomore year, I went to Hillcrest and then life happened again and my mama lost her house. So then we moved back to the city. I graduated from Corliss and then I was at my junior and senior year. And then um, I went to Central State University my freshman and sophomore year. Uh, I was in Chicago State for a semester or something like that. Um, and then I did online classes for like Colorado State University, I think. So why'd you switch three times with the colleges? Um, well, I was at Central State and after my sophomore year, um, I had unprotected sex and then that led to me having my first daughter, Brazil Marie. So I ain't go back. And then I was in Chicago and um, then I went to Chicago State and then, yeah, I got more anti-social after that, so I did online classes, so I ain't gotta be around people. So, yeah. And that was the third school when you started doing online classes? Facts. And when you made the switch to information, how, how was that phrase again? Information technology. Information technology, that was when it was just the online classes only, or had you Facts. made that switch earlier? Uh, online classes only for IT. Why didn't you go back to the first college you started with? Um, because I stayed I stayed in Chicago, Central State in Ohio. You know what I'm saying? My baby had came about. It was time to find a job. You know what I'm saying? Make sure she was taken care of. Walk the bam. Life got the hidden for real. You know, once you have a motherfucking baby, shit get real shit. So I had to focus and, and make sure my little one was decent. What age were you when you had her? <sighs> Gee, I want to say, if I remember correctly, I want to say I was 23. Mm-hmm. 23. All these schools growing up, college, all public schools? Um, yeah, facts. Uh, Central State University was an historically black college. Yeah, everything else was uh, public, yeah. What kind of kid were you in class, overall speaking? Um, in my younger years, I was a class clown. I did way too much. Um, 
I want to say junior senior year in high school is when I kind of calmed down. Um, I was still being a funny guy with that out the band, but I was always real studious. In my earlier years, I was super student of the month. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was the one that got to wash off the board. You know what I'm saying? Without the band, like I was, you feel me? And then I started coming into that class clown shit, probably like fifth, sixth grade. Um, but I was always smart as hell. It's crazy. My freshman and sophomore year, um, I was smart as hell, but I was too busy playing too motherfucking much. Motherfuckers thought I was dumb as hell, for real. Where did being a class clown stem from? Um, my, I was, um, my mama, uh, my mama allowed me to reunite with my pops around fourth grade. And um, he was always a real funny motherfucker. And he kind of helped me to tap into my funny. And then that's how that shit started for real. Your parents split at some point. Yeah, they split um, early on. Like, like, shit, I don't even know for real. I know my stepfather, he been around since I was two. So um, shout out to my stepfather, one of the most respected people in my life, for real. He was a real one. I ain't even going to hold you. I remember um, when we was young, it was just four of us. And he bought my uh, he bought my OG a coat. And then my OG was like, no, nah, I can't take this coat. My kids ain't got no coats. And he went and bought all us coats on my kids. Shout out to, shout out to my stepfather. He a real one. I love him so much on God. When it comes to your biological father, was your mother and your biological father ever married at one point or no? Yes. So when they split, they got a divorce. Eventually. It, eventually the divorce went through so that she could marry my stepfather. Do you know why they divorced? Um, I don't know. My mama, would, she, she was just fed up with him for real. So she had to get up out that gym. Now, when you were in, I believe you said junior, senior high school mm -hmm. years, you calmed down from being a class clown. Yeah. I think that's what you yeah, said. Yeah, that's correct. Why did things calm down on that end? Maturity. Mm -hmm. I was super fucking immature my freshman and sophomore year. A goofy. Now, were you part of a certain crowd? No, nope, I was never in a cool crowd. Wasn't able, to, wasn't able to get the mics, none of that. That was back when mics used to come out on Fridays. I think motherfuckers used to ditch school and go get the mics and shit. I, wasn't, I ain't never have them. Did anyone that attended any of your schools end up becoming well-known or famous themselves? Um, uh, man, one of my close friends, uh, he passed um, a few years ago. His name's Zach. We refer to as Zach TV. We actually graduated the same year from Corliss. He definitely made his name a name for himself. He was like the hood CNN. So um, yeah, he, he definitely uh, graduated and you know what I'm saying, did something for sure. Were you guys friends? Yeah, we was. Do you remember when you guys first actually met? Um, we, we actually didn't know each other in high school. It was more so once motherfuckers got older and then I was on the entertainment scene. I had the pleasure of doing a Zach TV interview and we used to always, you know what I'm saying, find ourselves working side by side. Um, I had a school tour in Chicago called the whole time shot tour. So, you know what I'm saying? He assisted with that. And whenever I used to go to the Cook County Juvenile Center, you know what I'm saying? And speak with the youth, you know what I'm saying? You to slide up there with me with that too. Just real nigga activity. How did that interview happen? He asked you, you asked him? He asked me actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you accepted it when he first offered it? Absolutely. Now what about music? Mm -hmm. Did you take a music class in school? Um, a general music class. But um, as far as my, you know what I'm saying, ability to be a rapper and so on and so forth, that stemmed from a uh, spoken word that started my junior year in high school. This general music class, it's something you just take for a year? Yeah. And do you know what grade? Mm, I want to say that was either my freshman or sophomore year in high school. An elective or something you were required to take or forced to take? Um... 
I think that was a requirement. And when it came to this class, did this class help you at all with being a recording artist? Um, absolutely. I, you know, uh, we we had to learn about the motherfucking music notes and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I definitely uh, uh, have applied that to different scenarios surrounding my music, for sure. Could you have gotten to where you're at musically at this point without that class, though? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Could you have taken this class another year? Another year after that? Is it something that could be continued if you wanted to? Or is it one of those just one-year type of things? It could have happened. I feel like I could have took it. Um further a, a, a couple years further into high school. I just didn't. Why not? Chose another elective. Any regrets or was that the right decision looking back? Um, I don't have any regrets for real. Everything that I learned now, you know what I'm saying, YouTube University supplied that knowledge. So, you know, I didn't necessarily need to take the class. Were you the type to freestyle or battle rap other classmates? Um, nah, but I did end up getting into battle rap. I had my first battle rap, uh, in 2012. It's on YouTube. Um, I battled my homie, uh, G-Check at the time. And then I had a second battle rap joint while I battled my homie Shot from, uh, South Carolina. Are any of these battles on your personal channel? No, nah, they're not on my personal channel. If people aren't familiar with your personal channel, care to share that handle? Corporate Business, Corporate with a K, Business, B-I-D-N-E-S-S. -S. And it's a verified channel, so you'll find me easy. Did you have a song you were promoting back then when you were in school? Um, nah, I didn't record my first song until 2008. Um, I was out of high school, and that was a song called Old Baby. Were you in college during this time, or no? Um, it was after my second year in college. One of my folks trying to find their way after I had my oldest baby. After your second in college, I mean, after your second year in college, which college at the time? Because there was three that you um, attended. This was after um, Central State, uh, before Chicago State. Were you the type to participate in any talent shows growing up? Absolutely. And was it music as your talent or something else? Um... They had a, a poetry slam in, um, in my junior year in high school, and I mistakenly found out that I knew how to put words together. Explain. Um, I was walking through the hall. I was always a hustler in high school. I was selling candy. I was selling CDs. I was, you hear me, just trying to run it up. And I seen a poster on the wall that was offering $200. Now, all I saw was the $200, so I had to see what was to that shit. It was a poetry slam. So I went home. I get the scribbling shit while the band coming up with words or whatever. I remember round one, it was a um, poem called Out Here Round Here. Turned that motherfucker auditorium up. You hear me? It was all tens. I'm like, damn, I ain't even know. Fucked them all up. Round two, all tens. Fucked them up. Now, whole time, the poem I did for the third round, I had just wrote two or three days before, and I didn't remember it, so I choked. And that's the only reason I lost. Oh, God. I was mad as hell, salty as hell. Was that the only talent show you did, or you did others as well? Um, I felt like I did some talent shows in, um, in elementary school, but I can't recall what the talent was. I, I, did, I think I did a talent show in college, too, um, on some poetry shit, yeah. Did you recall if you ever won at any of these talent shows? Damn. Or my, place. Lose, my losing ass ain't never win, G. Actually, I, it was a talent show I did um, in Country Club Hills two years ago. It was a singing competition because I used to fake sing and I won that bitch, actually. And was that by judges or crowd participation? Judges and crowd participation. Yeah, I had, I had sung Donnell Jones, Where I Want to Be on My Kids. I killed that shit. What's the secret on winning a talent show? How do you win? Um, uh, man, you just got to, whatever you claim to have a talent at, you just got to be strong at that shit. And um, bringing as many motherfuckers with you as possible to 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 amp your motherfucking, um, your motherfucking response from the crowd. Did you play any sports growing up? Um, not, per not, 
not uh, on a team. I remember I tried to, um, I wanted to go uh, try out for the basketball team. I asked my OG, can I go try out? She said, nah, because I had to rake the leaves. I was salty as hell. I'm like, for real, that's how you feel? I, and I didn't get a chance to try out. You know what? I did do cross country for a little second. I did do cross country for a little second my um, junior year in high school too. How far did you get with it? Uh, not too far. Not too far. Um, I think I was just like fucking shit. It, it was. It was just a lot. It was a lot for real. For real. But I don't, I don't know. I don't remember why I left that one far. I think I was just like man, I can't type shit. What led to that sport? Do you remember? Cross country. Man, I, I was always a running motherfucker. Like I always, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, man, let me see what's to that shit. Did you have a jersey number? I didn't even get that far, G. I didn't even get that far to compete. I stopped, I, I got up out of that motherfucker before motherfuckers even got the trials. Fuck you, tell you I'm, I'm good. Got up out of Now, I can't remember if you said this or not, so if I'm asking this a second time, I apologize. But did you, when you graduated high school, did you ever win any superlatives? Um, Most likely to succeed, best dress, biggest flirt. They give out these awards in the yearbook. Nothing. I ain't get none of the homecoming cause nothing. Maybe I wasn't cool enough. I don't know. Hmm. Now, after high school, you did further your education by attending three different colleges. Yeah. But it stopped at some point. Yeah. Why did things stop? And this was when you were doing online classes. Why did things stop? Man, I was doing videos, and uh, I had started videos in 2015, 2016. Can I had dropped black Chicago niggas be like power one? That motherfucker took off. I'm like, hold on, I think I got something. You feel me? Like I'm like... I felt like I I had successfully found uh, an effective marketing strategy for my music. I just focused on that, and I didn't get a chance to go back. What was your parents' reaction to that? Um, the my fact that you stopped college. My mom was supportive for real. Um, yeah, she ain't really had too much to say. I want to talk to my pops at that time, so I don't really know how he felt. How did your mother find out, or how did you tell her? I told her. I was like, yeah, mama, I, I, think, I, I think I'm think i on to something. She's like, yeah, son, woo, woo. Oh, okay, type shit. I don't think my mama never really cared if we went to college or not. For, I don't think she really believed in college like that, for real. She just wanted, I think my mama's biggest thing was me working and taking care of my kids. She always, like, drilled that in me, like, take care of your motherfucking kids. Looking back, did you make the right decision? Absolutely. Best decision I ever made in my life. And I meant by dropping out of college. Yeah. However, do you wish you, and again, we're looking in retrospect, mm -hmm. do you wish you would have finished college? Do you wish you would have skipped college altogether and went straight to the videos and the music? Or were you happy with some sort of experience? I feel like college is only beneficial if it's free. As long as you're paying for that shit, it makes no sense because they are training you to be qualified to work in a career field that is going to allow you to make enough money to be able to pay that shit back and not how much how much for you know what I'm saying all of your other life expenses so as long as that shit is free or super low cost other than that fuck out of here were any of these colleges free for you or super low cost hell no mm -mm. no scholarship no grants? Hell no, very little. Shit, one of my years, they almost sent a motherfucker home, shit. I know motherfuckers that spirit, you go to school, they, they at, the, at the beginning of the school year, everybody up in financial aid trying to get it right. You ain't got enough financial aid, they threatening to send your ass home until a, a grant magically come out of nowhere. Like, that, all that shit a fucking set up. Now, you may have just answered my next question, but if not, I'm going to still ask anyways because you may be able to detail the answer you've already said further, or maybe you have a different answer. I don't know. But mm -hmm. what did this entire experience teach you, you dropping out of college when you did? Um, 
man, to bank on yourself for real. And that college is definitely a setup if it's not free or low cost, you know what I'm saying? We living in a time and age now where shit, motherfuckers could make two, three, four, five, seven times more money than, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna fuck with a PhD. So, even with my oldest baby, if she wanna go to college, that's cool. If not, I ain't tripping. And if she do wanna go to college, daddy gonna make sure it's free for her. If you could turn back the hands of time, would you have done anything different? Nah, everything happened the way it was supposed to happen.